Hello there, welcome back. In this video, I am going to tell you something about the clownfish or anemone fish. I have watched the clownfish in various aqua shows and truly liked the fish. Since the release of Pixar movie Finding Nemo, the popularity of clownfish as aquarium fish has increased tremendously. So if you are also keeping clownfish, in this video, I will discuss about the top 10 facts and carrying guide for the clownfish. Number 1. Origin of Clownfish Clownfish are native to warmer waters of India and Pacific Oceans including the Great Barrier Reef and Red Sea. While most species have restricted distributions while others are widespread. However, no anemone fish is found in the Atlantic. Anemone fish lives at the bottom of shallow seas, in sheltered reefs or in shallow lagoons. Number 2. Nature of Clownfish Clownfish can grow size from 2.8 to 6.3 inches. All the different species are peaceful community fish and exist in close mutualism with sea anemone as its hosts providing benefits to each other. Members of some anemone fish such as maroon clownfish become aggressive in captivity. Depending on the species, anemone fish are overall yellow, orange or reddish or black, blackish color and may show white bars or patches. Number 3 Living Environment They need calm and non-aggressive environment. They prefer tanks with 20 plus gallons or more and can be kept in pairs. The temperature of the tank should be around 24 to 26 degrees Celsius that is 74 to 79 Fahrenheit. Clownfish prefer marine water chemistries. You should plant some non-toxic sea anemone in the aquarium in which you keep the clownfish. Also, clownfish can survive without the sea anemone and may prefer to settle in soft corals or large polystonic corals. Number 4. Tang mates Clownfish can be kept with similar sized fish. Though they are considered calm fish, but some species like maroon clownfish can become aggressive in captivity, while other fishes can be kept successfully with other similar species. Common fish kept with clownfish are Regal tank, butterfly fish, or blenny fish, etc. Number 5 Types of Clownfish There are 30 different varieties of clownfish, one in the genus Premnas and other in the genus Amphiphiron. A Pricula clownfish are the clownfish varieties that can be kept successfully in the aquarium, while maroon clownfish can turn aggressive as, as I mentioned earlier. Number 6 Symbiotic Mutualism Clownfish and sea anemones have symbiotic mutualistic relationship, each providing number of benefits to other. Anemone provides protection and food source to clownfish in the form of eaten leftovers and dead anemone tentacles, while clownfish also protects the anemones from threats and parasites and also helps in tissue regeneration from their ammonia secretions and improves the water flow through the sea anemones by swimming action. Number 7. Identifying Gender There is no specific means to identify the gender of clownfish. Clownfish or anemone fish are protenderous hermaphrodites, meaning they alternate between male and female success at some point in their lives. Clownfish colony forms a reproductive male and female and few juveniles and here the superior male and female only breed. Number 8. Feeding Clownfish Clownfish are omnivorous by nature and feed on zooplankton and anemone tentacles. In aquariums, you can feed them prepared flake foods and once you establish them in tanks, they are not picky and become voracious eaters. Number 9. Breeding of Clownfish In clownfish colonies, only two fish that is male and female clownfish reproduce through external fertilization. The female lays the eggs on the surface near anemone and male clownfish then guards until the eggs are hatched for about 6 to 10 days. In aquarium, if you keep two or more clownfish, chances are they will lay eggs at some points in their lives. Number 10. Caring Clownfish Fries Taking care of clownfish fry is bit tricky. Once eggs are laid by female clownfish, it takes about one week or so to hatch. When the eggs are hatched, they have to be separated 
to different aquarium or the fries can die or can be eaten by other fish in different aquarium the fries have to be fed and the food that it feeds on is hard to find they generally prefer roti fries and other fry food if you are feeding the fry the water also should be kept optimal for the fries to survive so it is bit tricky to maintain both and that's it for this video i hope you liked it give it a like and subscribe for upcoming videos also connect or follow me on social network links to all this is in video description until next time bye and take care and thanks for watching